Hello guys, welcome back to this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. This here is Chaplain Andrew to teach you the unchangeable and unfailable Word of God. Listen for this theme song and you'll know. It's me, hello podcast land. Hello, guys. How are we doing today? I'm going to send somebody a link real quick because uh, I'm not sure if he knows per se. It's that gentleman who I uh, wrote the song with, the kid that I wrote the song with back in the day. Craziest song we ever wrote. And it's probably not going to go viral, but you never know. So I'm going to sneak into here. I'm going to send him a quick link to this week's episode of The Message Show. So now, yep, right there, Kim French. There we go, guys. We sent him a link. So how are we doing today? Let's get into that for you. How are you today? What is up in your lives? Guess what? We love you. Jesus loves you. And there is something you can do about it. You can praise him for it. So with that being said, hey, it's officially the Monday night episode where I, Chaplain Andrew, is here, not are here, but is here to teach you the unchangeable and infallible word of God. And with no theme song needed at this moment, if you, well, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this real quick because my sister wants to listen in today. So I'm going to send her a link. So where are we at? There we go. Search. Wow, I'm on the top. I'm top number one in Apple right now. Okay, it says latest episode. That is the. Okay, what's the latest episode? I'm going to have to send it to her through Spreaker. That'd be the best bet. So let me do that because that'd be a lot easier. To send it through there. Because with Apple, I think it only shows up after the fact. So there's her text. There we go. And let's look at some statistics with you guys just for a minute. 328 people listened this month. 330, actually. And our current sticks for the week, well, since it's only today, is Monday, it's only 7. But last week was 25, 26, not bad. So, with that being said, guys... Let's get into what I like to call a few, but brief, announcements. And you know how I always start. Number one, go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 at G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. Guess what you can do over there at that email address? You can send me all of your prayer requests, even if you want to shout to you on the podcast. Send me your first name, your city, and your state, and I'll shout out to you on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. Also, guys, be aware... Be vitally aware that you can call us here at one 
302-448-8443. Again, that's 1-302-448-TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. Also, guys, also guess what you can do? You can not only uh, guess what's happening else with the show. This week, we're going to have our episode of Outside of the Classroom Wednesdays with our host, Dr. Scott Mullen from Agape Worldwide Ministries, Evangel Christian Churches, and the IAC, which me and the wife are a part of. So look forward to that as well. We're going to be doing a lot uh, with the Outside the Classroom Wednesdays. I do need to download an episode. Because when I got my virus from my computer, which I don't know where it came from, I don't want to say it came from my work, but that's the only place that I know of that's having issues with attacks and stuff. So I don't know. I just know that I got a virus. And when I did have a virus, a lot of that stuff that um, was on my computer is now gone because I thought that it would harm my computer in some way, shape, or form. And apparently it, 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 wouldn't, ha- it wouldn't affect it at all. It's a uh, web hack. So that it, it hacks your web browser as well. So that's all it does, just hacks your web browser. It doesn't affect your hard drive or nothing. Just it hacks your web browser and steals your information. <coughs> so I don't know what's going on. I just know that it's acting funny. So, I need to get an episode back, like ASAP, like today or tomorrow. I'm hopefully going to do that tonight, get an episode situated. Sorry about Saturday. We had a family reunion, and we had to see some people we haven't seen forever. And I even met some people I never knew even existed in the family. And, yeah. So, it was it was different. So, with that being said, guys... Um, be aware we're doing this again this week, this week's episode of Kingdom Collaboration Thursdays. And I'm so glad that he's back at with Kingdom Collaboration Thursdays because what happened was he was there for a minute then he had to stop for a minute. Then he was doing the EMI services, which he's always done. And then I realized after Kingdom Collaboration, I figured, well, he's not doing that. So what am I going to do? Then I realized he's doing EMI too. So I just chopped out his message. I posted, pasted it into my Spreaker, and then I did my normal with the outside the classroom, no, the King Collaborations page, which I did with the EMI page. But he now goes back to doing it. And this time, when I download the videos, I just download the video. I then convert that into audio. That's it. Done. I don't have to chop nothing. I can see with King, with uh, the EMI service, they used to have music that I couldn't play on the show. So, excuse me, I had to chop that out. So, now I don't have to. He doesn't play any music that's recorded. I mean, that's copywritten. He doesn't. He just speaks. So, hey, I am so glad you guys can tune in. I'm so glad that he doesn't have any recorded music or copyrighted music. With that being said, guys, what else are we going to be doing this week? We're going to be doing this week's episode of of, uh, Worship Saturdays. I am so sorry. I'm extremely tired. I've had a, I don't know what it was. I woke up with just feeling blah. And then I thought it was my blood sugar and thought it was a bunch of different things. And I still don't know what it is. But I am doing better. But just Please, please pray for me so I don't mix things up tonight because I am extremely tired. But we're going to be doing this week's episode of Worship Saturdays where we do nothing but praise, prayer, and worship. Grab your favorite drink, relax in your favorite lounge chair, and enjoy the music we here have on the show. And that's all we do is praise, prayer, and worship. It's Worship Saturdays. Also, guys, be aware that the Rumble will be happening just not yet. Due to the fact that we had some viruses going on, we need to get some other stuff downloaded and we need to get new episodes situated. So I'm going to try to do that tonight. And so it's going to take me a little bit because each time that Dr. Scott does his stuff, 
there's going to be a sector where he says, and I entitled this message, blah, blah, blah. And then I have to cut it right at that. I entitled this message. So just pray for me. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's doable, and I'm going to enjoy doing it for you guys. But with that being said, the rumble will happen, just not yet. Just wait for it, and it'll come. As, as the Bible says, wait on God and let God do his thing. And that's what I'm doing. With that being said, guess what, guys? You can download this app. It's called Podcast Portal, spelled P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L, available on the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store, and the App Toyed Market. Now, um, guess what you can do on this app? Again, it's called Podcast Portal, spelled P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L. Guess what you can do? You can listen to this show straight from, straight from the app. You can like, comment, subscribe, and you can download each and every single episode straight from the app. Guess what else you can do as well? Not only can you do all that stuff, but you can connect with us through Facebook, Twitter and email. Yes, email. Here's what here's a patented TJF life hack. Say you want to go and you want to send an email to community cloud two 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 at gmail.com. But guess what? You don't have to spell that all out. Well you don't have to anymore. Just go to Podcast Portal. And then once you're in Podcast Portal, you just um once you're in Podcast Portal. You go to the, you go to any bottom right hand corner of any page, bottom right hand corner of any page, and you click on the email button. Looks like an envelope. Once you click on that button, guess what? Then once you click on that button, then you click on your email client. There's two. Click the button. Click your email client. Then click always. That's three. Type your email. That's four. And then hit send. Once you do that and you hit send, the next time you go back to that uh, email again, it's that quick, that easy, that simple. And it goes you straight back to that email every time you click that button. Never, ever, ever again do you have to spell C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 E-G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. (sighs) <sighs> See how much of a breath it takes to get out of me? But you'll never, ever, ever have to do that again. Guaranteed. So with that being said, with that being said, guess what you can also do, guys, on that app? You can DM us on Twitter. You can also view the blog we got going on through the Facebook page. You can view the Facebook page and message us through Messenger, Facebook Messenger, as long as you have your account logged in. And you can message us. You can even call us straight from the app. Just go to where it says message on the Facebook page. The very next button is a picture of a phone handle. Click that. And then it takes you straight to your phone dialer. You click the green send button. You're instantly calling us straight from the app. Not only can you do that, but you can view the blog that we got going on for the app and anything that we post to the Facebook page on a regular day, everyday basis, you can see whatever we post. So there's a lot going on with that Facebook page, and it's wonderful. I used to have my page loaded to it, but no. Don't get me wrong, I'm an open book to anybody who wants me to be, but... But I found it better because now I can post a blog to the Facebook page. There's a lot of things that I can post to it to where people can just, it's so much, you can call me straight from the app. There's so many more benefits with the the Facebook page itself for Thank God It's Forever. And I created that Facebook page a long time ago, very long time ago. And we're also coming out with that app, not app, but the website as well real, real soon. With that being said, guys, also, what you can do on this app is you can listen to the play buttons, the four play buttons. Number one, 95.5 The Fish from Cleveland, Ohio. KJIC out of Texas. My former church, Evangel Christian Church, and my former church, Portage Community Chapel. For 95.5 The Fish and KJIC, just click on their play button and it plays the radio station. 
for evangel click on their evangel button which looks like it says evangel right on there click on it, it takes you to their youtube page click on any video that shows up and you can play it and watch it and hear it also with portage community chapel just click on their abstract color button it's got some blues some green some browns some orange click on that button and right below the evangel button and it takes you to their vinyl page it tells you who they are you know their profile page click where it says videos and then click on a video that don't say upcoming and then click on the play button and it instantly plays their video you can see them and hear them straight from the app as well with that being said guys one of my now I used to be able to do a google search result at the bottom of the play buttons page which you no longer can but at the bottom of the facebook or the bottom of the twitter just delete the uh, information in the search bar put in your own search request and you're good to go so you can do it straight from there as well. But with that being said, my favorite part of the app is the portal chat feature where you can chat with everyone who owns that app. If 500 people own my app, you can chat around the world with 500 different people. That's right. You can chat, you can chat with everyone who owns it. You can private message people on there. Just be careful. Not everyone who says they're Christian is actually Christian. So be careful. You can send links to your favorite songs. I've got all my favorite songs on there right now. You can you can do a lot. You can even send a selfie if you'd like to. Or if you're in France and want to show us you have a tower, your tower, you can. Just take a picture from your phone. Take it on the phone. Save it to your camera roll. Go into the app. Go into Portal Chat. Click the camera button at the bottom. Click Upload Picture. And then hit Send. And it instantly sends a picture to the app. It is absolutely 100% phenomenal. I am telling you what. Now, with that being said, there's so much stuff you can do with Portal Chat. It is, it is just a phenomenal feature. Now, there's two things you can't do right now. You can't exactly go and... What's what I'm looking for? You can't exactly go and... Uh, what am I looking for now? You can't exactly voice text and you can't use camera features right now and you can't use the microphone feature on there for voice to text but i'm working on that because i have an app that allow me to package it as a package it as a uh, chrome extension and all you gotta do is on the chrome extension just download the app from the chrome extension you're good to go so i'm working on that as well with the chrome extension so once I get it into there, you'll be able to do like the video stuff and all that stuff, to text, to, to speak, to text. There's a lot of stuff you're going to be able to do once you get it as a Chrome extension. So with that being said, guys, with that being said, that is Podcast Portal. And that is Portal Chat as well. Now, last thing to remind you is ask your Alexa device, say, Alexa, open Podcast Portal, and she'll say, welcome to or welcome back to Podcast Portal, where you can listen to this very show straight from your Alexa devices. We also got that skill for your video Alexa, video Alexa devices as well. Again, say Alexa, open Podcast Portal, and she'll say welcome to, or welcome back to Podcast Portal. And that does, guys, conclude our announcements for today. With that being said, how about we get into our very first song of the show, and it's by a really good friend of mine and i love this song so let's enjoy smile by none other than dr prophet larry orell enjoy smile smile though your heart is breaking smile what's the use of faking even though a tear may be ever so near, you can smile through the tears and sorrow. Smile, there'll be sun tomorrow. You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile. I'm 
finding it hard to do anything. You see, I feel sad when you're sad. Feel glad when you're glad. If you only knew what I'm going through, I just can't smile without you. You came along. Just like a song to brighten my day. Who'd have believed that you were part of a dream? Now it all seems light years away. You know I can't smile without you. Can't smile without you. If you only knew what I'm going through. I just can't smile now. Some people say that happiness is so very hard to find, and you're finding it hard, leaving your past. What's the use of faking, even though a tear may be ever so near? You can smile through the tears and sorrow. Smile, there'll be sun tomorrow. You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you'll just. There you go, guys. That was smiled by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry O'Rell. I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. We're going to get rid of that right there because we just played it. I'm going to actually pick one more song because I made an accident yesterday night when I did my show. I put some comments down, but I didn't put down what... The scripture was, and I'm going to look it up real quick. So I'm going to play, let's do this one. Let's do, let's do It's You by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry Orell. Enjoy, It's You. Sunshine, same old sky, same old bluebirds flying by, but it seems like the sunshine's more beautiful today. It's not the change in the weather. But the fact that we're together It's you 
that brings light into my life. It's you that makes my future bright. Whether it's morning, noon, or night, Lord, it's you. Same old, same old, same old town, same old people just walking around, but I'm seeing the world in a different light tonight, not the stars nor the moon, can't be anything but you. That brings light into my life It's you That makes my future bright Whether it's morning, noon or night Lord, it's you There may be cloudy days And those rainy nights Without a single star in the sky But if the sun and the moon Should both refuse to shine I don't mind It's you That brings light into my life That makes my future bright Whether it's morning, noon or night Lord, it's you There you go, guys. That was It's You by None Other Than Dr. Prophet Larry Orell. Excuse me. So I can't find that actual scripture that I was referring to. And it's strange how when I go to do something... I do it and then I don't, for, and I forget one little tiny bit of piece of information. So I'm going to look something up real quick and I'm not going to play any more songs till after the word. So I'm going to find the scripture that I need. I know the context of it. And I know it's in a really weird scripture, a book of the Bible. And it's really a strange book. Let me look the book up in here because we got that scripture. Let me look it up in my, con my table of context real quick. And then I'll find it right away. That's what I should have done to begin with. Instead of what I what I decided to 
like up instead. So table of context. I love my Gaither Bible. It's got great use to it. You can tell it's falling apart. And it's been ran over by my car too. It's been a lot of things. So not Esther. It is I, I kept looking up Esther yesterday, couldn't find the actual one that I was needing. Not Ezekiel, not Esther. It's really a weird Ezra. E Z R A. That should be bringing it right up. I think that's it. Yes. So that's 311. Okay, we found it. Thank you, Jesus. That's the only one that I do not have a marking for, but that is okay. So we got to put that down. I had to, I'm going to refix that up later on. But there we go, guys. We got it. We had to play an extra song. I hope you guys didn't mind that at all. With that being said, let's get into our word for today. And our message for today's episode is entitled, In All Circumstances. Let me get my pencil that just fell. My wife says, so why do you use pencil for instead of ink pen? Because... You can erase pencil. Now, you still can erase ink pen to two degree, but it's easier to erase pencil. So with that being said, give me just one brief second, and I'll be right back. I'll be right back after these important messages. LOL. If you just heard that, I'm so sorry. My door was closing. So, I titled this message, In All Circumstances. So let's get straight into the word, shall we? <clears throat> In all circumstances, we all go through, and you know I coined that phrase a long time ago when I first started the show. I created the go-throughs present, the go-throughs past, the go-through present, and the go-through the uh, future. We all go through something in our lives. My former pastor, Dr. Jerry Piscopo, we love you, Bishop, and we hope to see you soon. Just not yet. I'm not ready to go meet Jesus yet. I always tell this to people all the time. I am ready to meet Jesus, just not at this exact moment. So with that being said, we all go through something in our lives. Everyone does. They'll let known fully when they say they go through absolute nothing. Because there's no such thing as perfect. Let me say this to you. There's a scripture that says there's, I mean the scripture simply says, well one of them says, we all fall short of the glory of God. But through Christ Jesus, death, burial, and resurrection, we're all saved. Now, that could be twisted to degree, but the Bible clearly says that no man can say he does good and does not sin. It specifically says 
There's no man on earth that can say he does good and does not sin. So see where it says we all fall short of the glory of God, but through Christ Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, we're all saved. That could be, you know, that could be twisted to a degree. But this that clearly says no man on earth can say he does good and does not sin. So don't no one fool you that everyone is perfect because no one is perfect. So as my former pastor, Dr. Jerry Piscopos, once said, we have to go through something before we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. What does he mean by that? <clears throat> Meaning, wherever you're at now, you had to go through something to be where you're at now. Remember that. You have to go through something to be right now. You just didn't get there by accident. It's like, uh, for instance, if you were, <clears throat> uh, say you, uh, I'm trying to think of an instance. Instance would be like this divine appointment. There's no such thing as accidentally getting somewhere, accidentally doing something. We have to go through wherever we're at now to be where we're at. It's like this. I had to be in jail and I'm almost going to prison for me to be where I'm at now to surrender to God and do a podcast four days a week. You think a new Christian that's just, you know, come to Christ is going to want to do a podcast four days a week? You can think again. Not that I'm saying that. You know, all Christians don't want to. Some, like Dr. Scott, he never wanted to do a podcast. And what did he say? He says, well, it just kind of came out of me. And I said, I'll do it Wednesday night. I mean, it is what it is. So, we all go through something before we can see the light at the end of our tunnel. Meaning, we have to go through stuff to be right now. Light at the end of the tunnel. But, the question is... What do we do when we go through anything good or bad? Let's look at a few scriptures. So what do we do? What do we do when we go through anything good or bad? So let me open up to the book of Psalms. And the writer in the book of Psalms is David, and David is speaking. And it is Psalms 63. This is until a Pray a psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah. God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a day and dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary. To see your power and your glory. Because your righteousness is better than life. So this is um, Psalms Psalm 63. I didn't put a, a 63 verse what, but just 63. So Psalm 63 states, God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a day, in a dry, in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. I'll keep reading. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because of your loving kindness is better than life. So what is David doing at this moment? David is what? Praising God. And where is David at that moment? He's in what I call captivity. He's in the wilderness. I'm not exactly 100% sure why, but he was he was sent to the wilderness for reasons that I'm not 100% sure about. But he was sent to the wilderness. It was like, it was, I don't want to say it was God's punishment, but he was sent to the wilderness. And in the wilderness, even though... I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Even though David was in a bad situation. Let me read my comments. Psalm 63. David 
while being in the wilderness in captivity, I call it, praised God while everything while everything was against him. Everything and everyone was against him. So the first thing we must do is what? Praise God. You're going to laugh at me in just a minute when I read the next scripture. Our next scripture is Ezra 3.11. So let's go to Ezra 3.11. I do believe that it is in the Old Testament, but I'm not entirely for 100% sure. But we will look it up in our table of contents, contents again. And it's 5.17, so it's in the Old Testament. So we got to go to, where are we at here? 6... Five. So we are in Ezra right now. Ezra 3, verse 11. There's chapter 3. We're right there. Starting at... Starting at verse 11. And it states, They sing, and they sing... Excuse me, R E S P O N S I V E L Y. Responsively, they sing responsively, praising and giving thanks to the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endures forever toward Israel. Then all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord it was laid. And I read that in its actual context, which is that was just a side view of what Bill Gaither wrote in it. And the actual real context, which should be the same thing. There's 10. 11. And they sang response, responsively, Praising and giving thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever toward Israel. Then all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. So, as my context reads, my comments reads this. Ezra 3.11. So even when everything was going good, Israel praised God. So, think about it. David praised God when everything's going bad. Israel praised God when things were going good. So, you, you see, see where I'm going at a little bit? David praised God when everything was against him. And Israel praised God when everything was going good. So, you think there's a contradiction there, don't you? You think, well... How can you say praise God when everything's negative or praise God when everything's good? Which one is which? Shouldn't we be praising God when uh, when he gives us blessings? Yes. Should we be praising God when he... But why should we be praising God when, like, you know, Aunt Susie dies or when my mom dies or who... Why should we praise God when they... when something bad happens? And that gets into our next scripture, which is... Our last scripture, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. So 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Chapter 5. Starting at verse 16. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Let me read that again. It says, rejoice always. What is rejoicing? Rejoicing is praising God. So, it says, rejoice always. First things first, praise God always, right? Okay, so... What does the next thing say? It says, rejoice always. And then it says, here it goes again, number 16. 
I just lost the truth from the spot. Rejoice always, we got that. Pray without ceasing, 17. 18 says, in everything. What does that say? In everything. What is everything? Everything is turmoil, David. Everything is when you're blessed like the Israelites, when the house of the Lord was laid, or when you get blessed with finances or health. That includes everything. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing in everything. In everything that you have, do, and will do, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. What does that mean to give him thanks? It says give thanks in everything. What does that mean? It says praise God no matter what you're going through. Praise God no matter what you're going through. So all three scriptures showed, number one, David praised him when everything was going wrong and bad. And when he was, you know, in turmoil in the wilderness, the Israelites praised God when the house of the Lord, when the, when the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. And that's a good thing. But you look at both scriptures, one's bad, one's good. But the Bible says in everything not in just in the good times, not just in the bad times, in everything give thanks. I used to use this as a joke, and I'm not sure if I actually um, actually did this message before, but I remember saying something about it. But I used to do this as a joke. When you go to the bathroom, give God thanks for using the bathroom. You know why? Because it could have been worse. <laughs> It's a true statement. I use it as a joke, but it's a true statement. Give God thanks for everything. So, in everything, give thanks. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. First off, it says, praise. Rejoice, in parentheses, praise always. And then it says, pray continually. And then it says, to give thanks. Praise Him in all circumstances, good or bad, no matter what you go through. Because the Bible says in Psalms 145, verse 3, God is worthy to be praised. Let me look that up for you. It says, the Bible says in Psalms 145, 13. So let's go to Psalms 145, 13, and we'll look it up. Psalms 140, there's 146, Psalms, you got a few extra pages with like song lyrics on here. Psalms 145, starting at verse 13. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and you, your dimension endures throughout all generations. Okay, so I need to hear that. I'm not sure why. Did I, why did I put that in there? 14503 oh, it's the two dots look like one 145 starting at verse starting at verse 3 great is the lord and greatly to be praised great it says it again great is the lord and greatly to be praised so we need to praise god in everything that we do Everything that we go through, we don't just praise God when, hey, I got a thousand dollar my for an example, when I got that seven thousand dollars in my bank account, did I praise God? Of course I did. Did I spend it foolishly? Absolutely. And something's fun something funny happened today. And uh, it's only funny because as 
me and Pastor, as Pastor Lance and Ornissa Travis was on their Facebook uh, live uh, yesterday, they were talking about some stuff, and I don't want to give it completely away because then you'll know what they what the message is about. I'll just say it's about healings and health and stuff like that. And as he was doing his stuff, we talked about a few things, and then all of a sudden, the next day, the very next day, Monday today, I woke up feeling like crud. Literally, I felt like that I was sick from something. I didn't know what was going on. I just know that I felt like crud. And I'm like, what's going on? So what's the first thing that this guy here, Chaplain Andrew, did? Well, I praised my way through it. I kept praising God until God knew that I meant business. And I also praised God until the devil knew that I meant business. I praised God through the circumstance that I was going through, whether it was good or bad. And we know it's bad. And I went and praised him and praised him and praised him. I got my praise music going on during work. I'm in the dish room dancing, praising. I'm getting dishes done. Things are going right. And next thing you know it, I'm at home and I'm now doing a show. See, if I didn't praise God through that circumstance, then I wouldn't be here right now where I'm at. I would be still feeling like crap. And going, uh, that's exactly how I felt. I felt like I was going to fall over one. And don't get me wrong, I have faith that God was going to heal me. But I had to praise my way through the storm. And that's the thing that the Bible says. Praise God in all circumstances. Did I praise God when I got the new system for the for the podcast, new mixer board? Absolutely. Did I praise God when I was going through some kind of a sickness or a blood sugar attack or whatever the devil wanted to attack me with? Absolutely I did. Why? Because the Bible says in everything, give thanks to God. Not just in some circumstances, not just when it's good. You know, not just when you're on the top of that mountain and you're, yeah, praise the Lord, money's flowing, I'm doing great, ministry is working. Praise God at the times when you're in that valley. I had to realize the hard way because Dr. Scott, my host for Wednesday night, had had to remind me, he goes, Andrew, he goes, thank God for when you get, you know, 100 to 200 listeners in a week. But also praise God when you get three or four or five, or whatever the case is. Praise God when you get lower numbers. Because he says numbers are not everything. It's souls in the kingdom that means the most. So praise God whether the big numbers or small numbers. Because you know what? It's still what you do for God, no matter what. So praise him in all circumstances, not just some but all of them. When you do that, then guess what? Then your life goes a lot smoother. It's not going to be easy, but it'll be easier. And when you go through anything, you'll have that power, that dunamis power to say, devil, you back off in Jesus' name now. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. You leave out of my body, or whatever the case is. Or when you're going through temptation, through whenever you're going through like temptation, like lust, pornography, alcohol, and drugs, whatever the case is, then you'll praise your way through it and have that dutimous part of saying, devil, you back off in Jesus' name now. You have no reign of authority over this mind, body, and spirit. I command you to leave. You don't just say, can you please? No, I command you to leave in Jesus' name. What's the first thing that Jesus said to Peter when he said, I'll go with him to death with you? Peter had the right motive because Peter was really sad that his Savior had to leave. What did he say? He says, he says, Get thou behind me, Satan. Why would he say that when Peter was talking? Because Satan was using Peter to talk. Because Satan knew if if Jesus, if Peter could get Jesus to die with him, then it would be null and void. And it would not happen anymore. So, with that being said, praise him through everything. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, even if you just had a day where you just did nothing but Lord, I thank you for the content I watched on TV. Just praise him for everything, not just some of the stuff, not just for when, you know, things are going great and you're up high in the mountain. What about the valley? What about when you're down and depressed, thanking God for all he has done for you then? Because you might not think he's doing anything for you, but in the background, in the background behind, as I, as I always, as, you know, people say all the time, they say, behind the curtains where 
or behind the scenes is what they say. Behind the scenes, God is doing wonderful things in your life and he's preparing things for you which you don't even know just yet. You don't know about what God's doing just yet, but God's preparing something for you. And when, once that happens, you get out of your little slump and your little old oh, poor me thing and, you're, and you realize that God's been there the whole time. See? Praise your way through because then it gets you closer to that moment when God is going to do something big in your life. Because how can God do something big if you're moping around? Think about that. Can your spouse, your girlfriend, boyfriend, your husband, wife, brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, aunts, uncles, can they do anything for you or grandma? Can they do anything for you if you're depressed and moping around? Of course not. No matter what they do, it's, it's not going to phase you. But see, the same thing with Jesus. Jesus can't do anything if you're moping around. That's why you got to praise through the circumstance. Praise through everything. Even if you do not know if you need to praise through it, praise through it anyways. Because you know what? It's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> so with that being said, Give God thanks in every single circumstance. Let's get into our next song, and we are going to praise God again with our next song of praise and worship. We'll sing Hallelujah by none other than the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Enjoy. We'll sing Hallelujah. We'll sing Hallelujah. We'll sing Hallelujah. We'll sing hallelujah, we'll sing hallelujah. See 
There you go, guys. That was We'll Sing Hallelujah by none other than the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Let's get into our next song, and let's continue with giving him praise in everything. Let's get into our next song, You Are Good by none other than my guest and worship, my friend and worship leader for over 19 years, Dr. Tom Ray, from his CD, Evangel Life and Joy. You are good. Praise you, Jesus. Come on, sing, Lord, you're good. Come on. Oh, 
There you go, guys. That was You Are Good by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Let's get into our next song in our, well, we got three songs. Well, we had three songs. Now we got two songs. We'll play one song. We'll pray. We'll play the last one. And it's that way. But let's get into our next song. And our next song is... Not your good. It is entitled A Worship Medley by none other than my f- guest on the show, Pastor Evangelist Dudley Smith. Enjoy A Worship Medley.
There you go, guys. That was a worship medley, and we got a from my guest guest on the show, Pastor Evangelist Dudley Smith. We got a special request for prayer right now because here's what seems to happen. It's not funny, so I'm not going to push the laugh button. But my little guy Duke, our little guy Duke here, the mascot of the show, always likes to grab paper towel or toilet paper that you're using to clean something with. Whether, like, when I go to clean up his uh, poop and his pee, he likes to grab the paper towel and run around the house with it and eat it. Well, he grabbed the, the paper towel my wife had today and it had oven cleaner on it. So we need to go get him checked out, make sure it's going to be okay, and make sure he's going to be safe. So let's pray for him right now. Lord, we humbly come back before you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are God and God alone. And Lord, he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know how it's going to affect his body, how it's going to affect us as well if anything severe was to happen. So we ask you, Lord, to be with him as we take him in. Be with him, give him comfort, and make sure that he is safe and that he is not going to you know, get real sick and die on us. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are God and God alone, that you have your way in this ministry, and that you, Lord are the lifter of our spirits, Lord, because when we go through anything, we need to lift up your name and praise you in every single circumstance. So we praise you for Duke eating the paper towel with the oven cleaner on it. We praise you, Lord, that you are going to heal him. And Lord, I ask you to bless everyone that sounded my voice that not be what selfish. And Lord, I ask you to heal them from the tops of their heads to the soles of their feet from cancer, diabetes, like I have muscular dystrophy, multiple sclerosis. Heal my mom's arm that's not frozen no more. Heal my sister's heart and her diabetes that's not bad no more. And heal them, Lord, from disease they contracted themselves through sin. Yes, age, HIV, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes, why? When you heal them, it shows your mercy, your power, and your grace, and it shows that you are real. I, I'm reminded of a scripture, Lord, says you came through the door. It doesn't say you opened the door. It says you passed right straight through the door. Because you're all spirit. The moment said, Thomas, look at my hands. Thrust your finger to my side and see that I'm God. What did Thomas do? He got on his knees and said, truly you are the Son of God. What did you say? Blessed are those who have seen and believed. But it doesn't stop there. It says, blessed are those who have not seen yet still believe. So show them now, Lord. So when they come back needing absolutely anything, they won't have to say, I have to see it to believe, because they'll say, if you did it then, you'll do it again. Your word says, Lord, you're the same God yesterday. No, it says you're the same God yesterday and today. No, it says you're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. So show them now, Lord, when they come back needing absolutely anything. They won't have to say, I have to see it to believe, because your word again, Lord, says you're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. We thank you. We praise you and we honor you. And it's all in the matchless name of Christ that we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Boom, boom, boom. Amen. Boom, boom, boom. Amen. 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 Let's get into our last song. Our last song is His Word by none other than my friend and guest on the show, The Light Warrior. Enjoy His Word. in the beginning the life the truth the hope the worlds came into being by the power words he spoke he sang life's song over the water and the dust bringing forth man beast and bird and he holds it all together now by the power of his word his word is spirit his word is life his word is life 
He became sin once by a perfect love, a love to save us from the fall. His love will always keep us safe from harm. No enemies prevail. So let the lords of darkness know. There you go, guys. That was his word by none other than my friend and guest on the show, The Light Warrior. Let me remind you of two things. Number one, download that app. It is absolutely 100% phenomenal. You can do all these wonderful and phenomenal things straight on the app. Also, ask your Alexa device, say, Alexa, open Podcast Portal, and she will say, welcome to, or welcome back, back to Podcast Portal. We can listen to this very show straight from your Alexa devices. You also got this skill for your video Alexa devices as well. Again, ask your Alexa device, say Alexa, open Podcast Portal. And she'll say welcome to, welcome back to Podcast Portal. One thing I want to mention, though, is I never told you this, but when you do it with the Alexa, you have to wait till the show ends. You can never tune in live, just like YouTube, you can't. So with that being said, that is our show for today, guys. And as always, this is TGIF reminding you to, one, trust in the Lord in all your ways. Two, lean not to your own understandings. And three, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Thank you, and good night.